Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with a what's in my bags video. As promised last week in my Q&A video, I told you I would show you what I am taking with me um, on the plane as I travel up to Lexington, Massachusetts, I was going to say Boston, um, to attend my cousin's wedding and I am taking my roll-on carry-on luggage with all of my clothes and then my Neverfull in the GM size packed with all the stuff that I take with me onto the plane. So I thought I would show you what's in my Neverfull and um, we'll just go from there. So here is the bag and I have already gone ahead and started packing up all of my toiletries and makeup and stuff, which is typically what I use my Neverfulls for when I travel. And when I have a lot of stuff to take with me, like I do on this trip, um, or anything beyond, I should say, toiletries and stuff, then I will go for my GM size versus the MM, which is also a great bag for travel. So this is what it currently looks like and there's still a ton of room in here. If I wanted to throw in a neck pillow, which I don't typically do unless I'm going on a really long flight, um, I could do that. Or if I wanted to throw in a jacket at the last minute or shoes or pretty much anything uh, that won't fit into my luggage, I can stick it in here. So the first thing right on top of the bag that you can see is a scarf and I am bringing my Louis Vuitton uh, monogram shawl in the noir or black color and the reason I'm taking a shawl at this time of year is because in Massachusetts the weather has not been getting too much up above uh, 70s during the day even though the weather is supposed to be in the 80s this weekend I believe um, I've been told by people who live there that it is uh, not that warm and the wedding is an evening wedding so I do have short sleeves or capped sleeves and I wanted to have something to wrap around myself as well as just if I get cold in the plane I love having a shawl with me to just kind of snuggle up in like a blanket and this one is a perfect shawl for that since it is just ginormous and works really well as a blanket or as a shawl. So really happy to have that with me. And then this isn't very exciting because I only have a few things left, but I will kind of show you a little bit of what's in here. So the first thing is my Chanel Classic Flap. And I am taking this as my really one and only small bag I'm taking with me. I had mentioned that I was going to potentially take a uh, pochette and M, and I will show you normally when I do travel what I take with me in my pochette NM. But for this trip, since um, we do have a dinner, rehearsal dinner the night before the wedding, and then we have the wedding itself, so it's a lot of more kind of formal events. So I thought, I really don't need the pochette. I'm just going to take this. And so I, um, got this bag from a consignment store. They did not have the original um, dust bag for the bag, but I was able to get this one just to have something to put it in, and I'm really happy I do because when I travel, it makes me feel a lot better knowing that this is all snuggled up in my bag, so to speak. So this is my new to me classic flap uh, Chanel in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware that I showed in a recent video when I um, just got this. And I actually have this stuffed with the actual things that I plan to take with me. And I will show you kind of quickly what that looks like in there. Not too many things, as you can see. So um, in this front pocket here, I will be putting my phone, which I'm using to film right now. But uh, that's a perfect place for a phone. And then in, also inside, I have my Chanel card case, and this is also in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware. And I got this also pre-loved um, in the hopes that one day I would have a little matching bag to put it in, and I absolutely love these two together. Um, and inside here, I just have the authenticity card in the front, and then a few credit cards and my driver's license um, going with me on the trip. Then also in the bag, I have my keys and I've just put them inside of a clay so that they don't scratch up inside my bag and normally I'll show you the way that I would use this if I were taking my pochette because normally this is the kind of one and only wallet item I take inside my pochettes with all of my cards and cash and I will just take my keys out from here and show you how that works but they don't scratch up my bag and then sorry hard to see but there's only two other little things in here um, last two things are my 
Chanel um, Le Beige powder that I will be taking for touch-ups um, at the wedding and at dinner and anywhere I go. Don't really need a cosmetic bag in this bag because I'm not planning to carry that many things. And then I have, of course, a lipstick and that is really it. Um, I will probably put my sunglasses on top and I'll show you I've got those in my Neverfull as well, um, as well as a small travel size perfume that I have currently inside my um, toiletry pouch. So I will now show you those. So again, here is what the bag is looking like. And you can see there are just a few more items. Here are the sunglasses and I have them in their soft case. These are my Chanel sunglasses that I'm finally going to wear. I haven't worn them in a while. And so I thought this would be the perfect occasion to wear them. So I'll be taking these. And then I will also have my toiletry 25. And um, this comes with me everywhere, even on short trips, because I keep it packed at all times with all of my toiletries, anything that I need outside of makeup. I've got my skincare all packaged up in this little clear bag in case I need to take it out going through TSA. Um, and then I've just got a bunch of other little things. I can do a separate video on what I carry inside here, but let's just say it is a week's worth of stuff um, and I just like to keep it ready to go. Um, when I come back, I replenish anything that I have used up and so it's always kind of sitting in my closet ready to go when I travel. So absolutely love this and it is quite large for just a few days, but um, I don't care. <laughs> I have the room, so I'm taking it with me. And then only, I think, one thing remains besides the pouch that comes with the bag, and that is my toilet, not toiletry, my cosmetics case in the GM size. And I keep this also stuffed and in my closet with um, some of my travel sized cosmetics. And I've got just a powder in here because I always forget to take a um, pressed powder with me. So I do have a full size of those and I just put that in here after the last trip I took to California because I almost forgot it at the last minute. But um, yeah, always take this with me and keep it stuffed with a lot of those, you know, beauty bonus things that you get or um, gift with purchase kind of things. I keep those around and will uh, typically use those when I go on vacation. And then at the last minute, I might throw in a few other things, uh, full size things that I just need. Like for this wedding, I think I will probably take my full size stick foundation uh, from Bobbi Brown since that is the one that I want to use. And then I'll throw my beauty blender in here and that's about it. So haven't really finished packing, but I wanted to try to make this video before we really get uh, going on that. And then the last thing in the bottom of the bag that you can see there is the pouch that comes with the bag and it is attached to the D-ring. And um, I figured I could use this. I will probably set it right on top of my bag and keep it attached to the D-ring for security. And I will just put my license and maybe a little bit of cash in here for when I am at the airport, going through the checkpoints so I have easy access to everything I need. Um, I don't really have paper tickets, but I'll have my boarding pass um, on my phone and all that. So really all I need is my phone in here and my license and um, maybe a little bit of cash and a credit card. And then I will put those back into my little card case when I arrive at my destination. So that is what I take with me in my Neverfull GM when I travel. The only difference between this trip and other trips that I've taken or most trips that I take when I'm going on vacation and I want to be hands free to take pictures and um, you know do anything adventurous. Then I would take a pochette and this is the one that I've been using most recently so I thought I would just um, show you how what I take with me when I travel inside this which is what I take with me when I use this ever. So yeah, so here's what it looks like right now with nothing inside and I'm just going to take some of the items out of here and show you. So my keys, I'm just taking them out of the clay. And sorry, I'm reaching over onto my little. So I'm taking out my cards, putting them inside here. 
I don't have any cash currently, so <laughs> or no cash on me. I might take a, a little bit of cash with me when we go. But um, yeah, just my keys on my clay. And that is the first thing I always have inside here. So that's how that looks. And then I would take my powder. No problem. And my lipstick. <laughs> I'm really, really boring. Just the essentials when I travel. And then I can always pop my sunglasses. Ooh, things are falling over. <laughs> pop my sunglasses right on top and there you go. And that zips up, no problem, no bulk, really easy. And I've got pretty much everything I need in one easy place. And I always seem to use the inside pocket. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I always seem to use this inside pocket for receipts and miscellaneous stuff that normally would be kind of all over the place inside the bag. So I will throw things in there as I'm using the bag. Or if I have tickets, um, maybe a parking ticket, things like that, uh, that is where I would put those kinds of things or parking stub, not a parking ticket, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so that is, and my sunglass thing is sticking out. That is what I normally take with me when I carry around my pochette NM when I travel. And I also do have, and I didn't bring it with me, but um, I do have another strap for this, a crossbody strap that I will attach when I travel so I can be hands free and it gives me options to be able to wear it crossbody or as a small shoulder bag or taking this off altogether and using it as a clutch for going on in the evening. So I find the pochette to be the perfect bag for travel. It's just really, really easy, easy to take care of, don't have to worry about it, great to be hands free and if you have a Neverfull you can always use your um, inside pocket of the Neverfull, the zip pocket for the extra strap. And um, I will probably also have, I haven't put it in there yet, but I will probably also have um, any power cords and miscellaneous things that I need to take with me on this trip. Sometimes I will keep those inside of that zippered compartment in the Neverfull as well, just to have easy access as I'm at the airport and traveling. So. That is it. That's what I am taking with me in my Neverfull. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions regarding any of this, please leave it in the comments below. And if you'd like to see a more detailed what I carry with me in my toiletry bag or makeup bag, just let me know in the comments below, and I'd be happy to do another one of those. I know I had done one some time back, um, but it's about time for an update. So have a great week. Uh, I will see you soon next week, and um, I hope you all have a great day. Bye.